day two for me, day, day three two, for you. Day three, yeah. Got snow in the mountains. Look at that. It's cold out here. You're not wearing a jacket. Hey, we're going inside. We're going to be busy. Hey, absolutely. Let's see. But it was raining last night. Vendor floor. Now it's uh, beautiful. Make some, uh, let's meet some new friends. Let's see what the floor's got in store for us. I mean, this has been a fabulous convention, man. Absolutely. I am in line with Frank, baby. You know Frank, and he's got Ooh, what's up, guys? Face mask. Live Show from Creepy Con. That's right. You got Nev, you got Matthew, uh, David Dan Arquette, Dewey. Dewey. Randy. Uh, yeah, Randy, Jamie Kennedy's up in there. Who are you missing? Uh, Skeet Ulrich. There he is. Skeet Ulrich, guys. Oh, he just got here right now, right so I'm gonna put him right here on the cheek. Perfect. Yeah. Kiss the cheek too for you, huh? Oh. <laughs> You've only been waiting what five hours, right? Only, only three. Okay, that's perfect. it. But who's counting? You know. So yeah, but it's worth it at the end of the day, guys. It's what we do. Got mask complete, right? Yeah, That's yeah, right. exactly. So I getting close. It. Hell yeah, there we go. He's here. Let's do it. I got everybody and I got my picture. <laughs> Sorry. What do you got? Got everybody. I got yes. Steve, I got Lee, I got Dermot, I got Matthew, David, and Nev yesterday. That's awesome. You're happy. My daughter's going to be thrilled. She's yes. 11 and she's a huge fan. Love it. That's she's awesome. She's sad to stay home today with a stomach ache, but. Well, she'll be happy when she did it yesterday. She got her signatures yesterday. She's like, Oh, you want to see my knife? And they take it and signed it for her. She's like, Yes. <laughs> That's all. So look at the price for Bob Elmore. Yeah. He is 30 autograph, free selfie, cash only. I love it. Nice. Comments. By the way, in the 60s for stretch. So, oh, and there's Dugan. Yeah. Dugan's coming by to say hi. I'm trying to get him to go over there with you guys. There's two leather faces. Uh, <laughs> Grandpa and leather face. Because yeah. I wanted to meet all you guys. I want to get a picture. I want to get a picture. You want a picture? I take a picture real good. <laughs> you can pay me now. <laughs> You like head cheese? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> He's got a nice. And even the coffee. Yeah, dude. Dude. Hi, how are you? <laughs> it's a pleasure. <laughs> That's what cool John came out. Oh, this is great. You know, he's an angel. He just really is. I should have put that up. Yeah, I don't do the merch. Okay. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Smart nice blue right here. Oh, you got it. Yeah. I love it when you guys bring your own pens. So you take it like we made Ryan a Dark Dell for your, um, what, what was the vampire movie? Tend to Midnight with the Dark Dell signing. Oh, yes. Ooh. You signed my text poster. Did we it do? It was a Spanish poster. You wrote it in Spanish. I don't even remember that. You wrote Senorita. Oh, Carolina. yeah. Look at that. I don't even remember. And everyone was surprised at how well your Spanish was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember having a 10 minutes to midnight sign. The Dark Delicacies. Yeah. Yeah. You have the Blu ray. Yeah. yeah. I don't I I remember, remember it. There you go. My God. Is there oh, anything else you wanted? Yes. Please. Yes. 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 Thank you. Oh, that came out nice. Look at that. Uh, I need new paint pens. I, 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 mine are given out. Yes. You got it, brother. Sweet. Your pen. So much. I appreciate well, you've got the you got a good selection. But they're given out. I've been I've been using them. Oh. And ba 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 ba. It starts to like fade and skip. Oh, okay. and you gotta, yeah, you've you always got and you got to come. Because they close at six. And that's a pain in the ass. That's true. Uh, I come out here. Oh, okay. Perfect. And everybody's in the photo, so no, no, 
Not you. No, not yes. you. Oh, him. He's going to use we your take camera. A photo of him? <laughs> we'll see what, he, we'll see what he says here. Great. Should be prepped, ready to go. Got chains on everything. So you got a nice leather. pallet right up yeah, on top. Yeah, perfect. See ya. Carolyn and Bob featured together. Sure. <laughs> they love it. Beautiful. Love it. Thank you, sir. All right, there you go. All right. Thank you. Right here with thanks to the chainsaw? Of course. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Picture. Oh, look who showed up. Look who showed oh. up. Got here early. He looks happy. He must have just got somebody. Oh. He met somebody. Oh. Yee. Ooh, we got. Oh, there's a oh, glare. Shiny. There we go. Oh. Oh. We got Let me Hellboy. Do the we, do we got finger. Hellboy. We got Doug Jones. Best fishers. I love that. And then here we go. Doug Jones. We got everybody now. The Hellboy. That's it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Big and nice frame. getting framed up. Ooh, the new place, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Place. That's one thing that you guys actually agree on. That's gonna go up on the wall. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's one. Dang. It's not like they weren't arguing all day yesterday, right? No, no, no. It's like, no, like, no, it's like no, a happy were... couple. Right? Oh, like nah, a... nah, oh, nah, like Randy's walking away. Wait, wait, So 50 plus uh, 20 is uh, okay. 70 and what are we doing right now game plan yeah bring cash bring cash extra cash always extra extra, extra cash extra or if cash. not have your buddy yeah he's got cash so bring your buddy with you where is he uh, he's holding a camera where Donde? Look, looking over here looking. oh hello uh -huh. hello at the Severn booth look at that <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good. Ooh. Thank you, Mac Bruce. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, me and this guy. Be careful with this guy. I have to tell you, we do the conventions. That's because it's out of print, and then the sellers didn't sell it. It's just like, found it at a store. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Severn booth. You've seen them at different conventions, but for the first time, for the 30th anniversary, Severn is releasing. Cemetery Man. Ooh, look at how gorgeous that is. Yeah, the new 4K. And for the first time, we actually have an individual from the film here to meet you. Fabiana Formica. Did I say that correctly? Correct, yes. I am trying. <laughs> and she started as Valentina in the film. So this was 1994, so 30 years now, 30 years in the making. How was it that you first got involved in the film? Did you had to audition? Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so the film was uh, it was filmed in English, right? And yeah. I used to 
attend a school where we spoke English all the time. And so the audition was uh, for an English-speaking uh, girl, and um, and it was pinned to the to the office. Uh, like was looking for bilingual 14-year-old uh, girl for horror movie, and my drama teacher was like, "You got to audition for this." So I did. I contacted them, and uh, I auditioned with Michele the first round, then the second round. And then one day, it was like summer, I think it was June, I heard my mom calling from the balcony. I was downstairs playing with other kids. <laughs> you got it! Oh! You got the part! It was so exciting. That's and awesome. uh, Yeah, it was, so that's how I landed. Did you yeah. take your own initiative to, to start going to school and stuff? Or were your parents encouraging you? See, you being for the acting, for acting, for the yeah. acting no, yeah, the acting was totally my choice. At 11 years old, it was because I was a very good student. You know, I'm kind of uh, yeah, I'm kind of a nerd. I was a nerd. <laughs> I have to, I'm a nerdy a kid, and um, and then uh, but but the theater, there was theater in school. It was the only place where I could just have fun. Like like this convention here, this is yes. fun. That's what it's all about, right? Right. It's a circus, and I wanted to be part of it. And that's how I got uh, into theater and acting. Wow. Yeah. And you continued Same. on. Yeah. Well, this, we were talking a little earlier about some of the scenes and some of the special effects. Uh, wait for, for the vomit. And, you know, <laughs> so take the vomit and then fall back and, 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 and not, try not to hit my head. Right. right. So, like, so it was, um, yeah, and it, it was kind of disgusting because he was like had his mouth full of yogurt and stuff whatever oh. it was that they gave him and um and he got very excited you know it was like that kind of excitement uh i i know some people like that they get so excited they have to throw up you know right. and that was the kind of vibe so it was funny to watch but then it was it was, it was, like, it was gross of, to yeah, have yeah, to gross. go through it. yeah yeah <laughs> So, and I do have a picture of, of the vomit. I didn't take it this time, but I, I have it. I have the picture. You do? Yeah, yeah. There was one guy yesterday. He, I said to him, "What's your what was your favorite part of the movie?" And he said, "The vomit." Of course. Yeah. Of course. That's <laughs> wow. Yep. Okay. <laughs> there are some weird ones out there. We yeah. just have to tell you. I thought it was very interesting having a question of what the the vomit was made out of, and I think it's yogurt. It was. Uh... I, think, I think it was yogurt. You know, no? it was. It was. Uh, it was like a yellowy, white, gooey stuff that um, obviously, yeah, he, he put in his mouth. He had to spit. <laughs> so I think. It, I think I recollect it was yogurt. And, and there was a few takes that went with that. Yes, we did quite a few. That scene and the kiss. See, the kissing, kissing scene yeah. were like the most number of takes because, um, well, the the scene in the piazza, which is mm -hmm. a vomit scene. What? It just needed a lot of coordination because yeah. the vomit hit me right in the moment when it hit me. I oh. had to jump back and, and try to kind of land so that I didn't hit my back and the head and right. everything. So, uh, and then the motorcycle came right in. So that was also, you know, so part the of the timing had the to timing. be there yeah, and the practice. The did you practice a lot? Yes, or yes, we did. Oh. We did practice. There was somebody on set who, who mm -hmm. explained to me how to, how to do it. And, um, you know, it was my first set ever. So really? it was exciting. I was very excited. There was a lot going on. Mm -hmm. And um, and, that, and the same thing for the, the kiss scene with Nyagi. Yeah. There was so much, um, you know, it was like the head was there, my body was underneath, the kiss, I was young, and, and, and I had to do the talking. He wasn't, Nyagi wasn't, you know, he was like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so that one, it took a while. There was also like a, a, a mosquito around uh, cover, eating my, the makeup on my face. So, oh, wow. Yeah, oh. Was, uh, so, was, uh, for being, for the filming itself, you were on, um, you were on site. You were at a, do you remember the location or where the filming took place? Yes, the location was a cemetery. It was like an hour and a half from Rome. We had oh. two cemeteries. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them I remember better than the other one. And it's in a place, I think it was near Carzoli, which is, it's like a beautiful area, not far from Rome. And um, yeah, the cemetery, I, I, I have always loved cemeteries. And so it was a place I felt at home. The cinematography is gorgeous. Absolutely. For those of you who have not seen the film and are not aware of the scene she's talking about, you got to make sure you grab a copy. Okay. 
So, and with the filming concluding, did they have to bring you back to reshoot or do anything to add to the film? Or when it was done, it was all, we're done, we're wrapped, we're finished? Or, you know, I you think that, yeah, I think there was some, um, we were done maybe there was something more about the makeup yeah oh, that, that it had to be enhanced mm -hmm. I think the makeup uh, it didn't it, the head maybe the, the, that part of the neck didn't we had to do it again okay. I think no. so but otherwise yeah it was we, we just they called us back to do the dubbing the Italian dubbing because that was that's what I was going to yeah. ask because right. you said English and right. being bilingual yeah. Yeah. but they also have there's an Italian track in yes, there so people did. can watch yeah. it yeah so we had to do wow. the that is so, yeah, cool. so cool. Is that where the name change is different in uh, the U.S. and then... Yeah, for Italian, Cemetery Man, right? yeah. yeah. So, because this is a European cut, uh, release, right. I would imagine. Yeah, it was a European release. So released in the U.S., it was a Cemetery yeah. Man, right? Yeah. 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 But everyone wow. knows it as Delamore Del Amore. Right, know, so. exactly. I'm glad they know it as Delamore oh, yeah. Del Amore, right? Simon yeah, Barrett, um, the guy that wrote uh, The Guest and um, Blair Witch Project, he was, I was wearing my Del Amore Del Amore shirt in San Diego Comic Con when they were promoting Blair Witch Project. And he goes, you know, I just showed my girlfriend that movie for the first time. He's like, I wish somebody would release a Blu-ray version of it. <clears throat> and, and Severin finally did. Right. And, but the fact that we get to talk about it, he goes, he goes, I love that movie. Like, not, not a lot of people it's talk about it. So yeah. it is. So the fact that yeah. you're here, this is amazing. Yeah. So. We can believe 30 I, I, years later. Yeah. Right. It, it's like the time flies. <laughs> right. Oh my, yes. yeah. um, I did want to say something, though, that I've never said before. Yes. Um, I mean, you take it or leave it. But the fact that Anna Falki, the woman, you know, the, the main character, she plays three different women. Mm -hmm. I think it's so visionary, the fact that how, the, how a woman is portrayed in that film. Mm -hmm. Because it's like three different aspects of what a woman is. And I, I just found it so poetic, and uh, and you know the scene at the doctor with mm -hmm. Rupert Everett and yes, the doctor's yes. scene. I mean, it's it's just like I, I find the movie very poetic, very profound, and also super funny and <laughs> oh, yeah. horrific. So I don't know, it's just got everything in it. Oh, yeah. Good combination of all those yeah. different genres. Uh -huh. And the interesting thing is with the release. We, they did a vinyl pressing, so yes. some of you have copies of the vinyl pressing, but those who do not, there's also the CD of the score, the soundtrack is yes. in it, with the, the Blu-ray as well, mm -hmm. so you get a chance to listen to that. Do you recall how long the shooting was, or how many days it took? Mm, the number of days was not, the, it was not like a lot of days, maybe seven to ten days for me. That, oh, okay, yeah. for your scene. Just for me, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the, 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 the makeup took like six to seven hours. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. Whoa. Yeah. So was, at 14, was, did they have you up early in the morning? They had me up early. The, the, the days were super long. But you know, it wasn't it, it wasn't something that I really minded very much because it was so exciting. You said it's your first set, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, who cares? You know, right. and, the, and the makeup. But, but it, what, was, what was a little, you know, um, difficult was at the end after the scene with the, the the day was at the end of the day when we had to remove all the prosthetics. Yeah, that took a long time. Oh. Like to rub them off and to take the Stick makeup off. Stick it to your skin yeah. and <laughs> stuff. Like, and, and then the next day start again. Yeah. So Do it all over again. Yeah, that was a lot. But uh, you know, it's just like magical. Oh, well, this is really appreciative of you coming to this event. Is this your first event? It's my first first ever time coming. Convention, oh, horror so convention. Awesome. So you get to meet all these crazy fans and yes. all the people wandering I through. I love the fans. I love the fans. They are awesome, awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. So you're gonna, you're here, and she's here at the table. Yeah. So having the opportunity, having photos. There's also she's got a table clothes. Got a right. poster. Yep. You get an autograph as well, or you yeah. can do the combination poster. That's right. If you guys are going to be coming to any of the future events, they're talking about maybe, maybe we can bring you back for other yeah. ones yeah. coming I here. Love that. Oh, we yeah. would love to see you there. So you go get to those events. I'm telling you, Put it out there. either pre-order it yes. or come early. Because this, it's already sold yeah, out. out. This is gone. We don't even get a copy. No, we, we get to <laughs> hold it. We get yes. to hold it. You get to look at it. And then we got to give it back. Texture it. Got to give it back. But yeah, it's. We really yeah. appreciate you coming out. Thank oh, you so I much. Yes. You. Come say this hi. Awesome. Come tell me yes. what your favorite thing about the movie is. I want to hear about there it what is. you Reach like out about to the her. movie. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Share your stories, share yes. your experiences, and definitely show your love and support. And what are your socials? Do you have your handles? Yes. How do people, if they yeah, want to? Yeah, uh... it's uh, first name and last name, Fabiana Formica. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you can find me there. Add me. And uh, come take a picture, post it. I'll reshare. Yes. I want to get to meet the fans of De La Morte De La More. Oh, I, the way she said it. Oh, my God. That's how you end it right there. That's I'm still perfect. working on speaking English. So <laughs> she did good with that. <laughs> 
Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, you're good. So for those of you who haven't seen the film, please definitely come check her out. It's a wonderful, iconic film. Still holds up 30 years later to the day. If you're a horror fan and you haven't seen it, come on. You have to. You got to see it. Completely. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely. We appreciate it. Ciao. Feliz. Oh, you are just my name. Your name and your character name? Yeah, Valentina. Perfect, yes. Uh-huh. Thank you. I love Thank you. Look at that. Yeah, okay. I'm going to get severed in the background here. This is uh, my assistant, Nagi. He's sweet. Will you buy him, Daddy? Crazy. Shows up. I'm following these two. We're going somewhere. Oh, we're following Mike. Mike's got his. Mike, Mike wants a free poster. Mike, so they've released. They said free, and they said Mike said I'm, I'm there. Released earlier this year, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre yeah, game. That's a fun game. You had to do pre-orders on it, and there were some that actually came with the pre-order with a poster. Yeah. Those of you who weren't able to get the poster, Gun Media and the promoters actually are offering posters here at the event. You can believe that. Oh, it's in lots of fun. <laughs> And the beauty of Creep IE Con. Nice. First off. Sign too. Sorry. Toxic Doom, our buddy the Toxic Doom. It's our buddy. What's up, we're at Toxic Doom. We found y'all. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, man. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good seeing you guys. Thank you, man, absolutely. Have fun. What, what you got new? What do you got new? We got sweaters up here. We got crew neck sweaters up there. Oh, awesome. And then this over here. Oh, nice. And yeah. uh, we're quickly selling out. We got this batch left right here. That's all we got left. Sweet. And we got this little design right here coming out by the end of this month, hopefully. This is our oh, take on a 19th, our, created, our own created slasher. So. I love it. The Midnight Lurker. Cool name. I love it. <laughs> Sweet, man. I just stop by, you know, let me show you some love, so, of course. ToxicDoomStudios.com, check these guys out. We got new stuff coming out, man. Hell yeah. Nice. Right behind you. But Jason goes to hell? The chain around his neck? Oh uh, no, that's the uh, part seven. Oh. Oh, okay, oh. Good. We met over at the Delicacy. Yeah. Way back when uh, Harry never did. That was, was that was jail. Yeah, okay. Well, the last time right. that, that I That or the clinic. <laughs> yeah. How do you like that? Good, man. That is awesome. Isn't it? So. But we did Friday first, and then, and then after Friday, a lot of people contact this one that's making games for them. Mm -hmm. Every company on the planet, ah. every movie. Can you make my movie into a game? The mask. Yeah, that's awesome. You got the neck of mask in there. So to do this, actually on the final release, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Did you get the vinyl? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. It's really cool. Someone brought one in today or yesterday. Had to sign it. Nice. <laughs> they wouldn't get here in time. Oh man. Yeah. Not with that attitude. <laughs> I know, because we don't have the uh, outfit for the Sonic check. Yeah. From the 80s. Oh, yeah. That'd be awesome. Would you like the white or like the, the white? White. white. No. I like the same. Yes, please. Please. Ta-da. This guy's getting nice. Telling you that white. You ever done any tagging on any walls? Your signature looks a lot very... Yes. <laughs> you a cop? No. <laughs> but I, I used to do that one myself, so... I recognize an artist. I'm like, I love it. Oh, oh yeah. Parker. 
Who should get somebody to take a picture of all three of us holding up the posters? Like being undercover free advertising. Watch out, Grandpa. Take a picture, you can hit my hand. Sure. Hey, Got it. Thank you. <laughs> That's all. Awesome. My back's not broken or anything. It's all good. It's all good. He's got a man handling. Extra saliva. That's extra. There you go. Hey, watch where you're going with that thing. Watch where you're going with that thing. What do you got there? I don't know. What the like, heck is that? I got Freddy with me. Uh oh. Five nights. Watch out for Neff. Yeah. What is up with you, man? You made I don't know, man. Huh? I'm here with the fam. Today? Yes, I'm trying to get a sign now. Oh. And when I do it, should I do it on this side or that other side? Which how you can display it? I don't know. So I have that DVD signed by Marilyn, Gunner, and, T and Toby. Yeah, put that in the front and then put that on the other side then, yeah. So like like this or, yeah. or turn it around? Um, but the, the other side has more more space to sign, I think. They do the other side? Yeah. Oh, because it's more of the blade? Yeah. 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 There's not, I don't think there's that many those holes there, really. How much is the chainsaw? 80 bucks. Really? It's not bad. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. I'm hoping to at least get the, uh, the hitchhiker yeah. and... Um, Grandpa. Nice. Yeah. We'll get them there at the very end. I know. Okay. Here um, you go. Right, right when I got this, they yeah. went the photo ops, and oh. then, then my family came. Okay. Nice. So Did five, you get to meet Matthew? Five minutes in and out. What? He pulled some strings. Nice. Must be nice. Pull some strings. Well, it wasn't for me. It was for this, right. my homie right here. I know. I know. So like. Are you met him? I'm happy. So Ethan. So now you met John Carpenter and Matthew Lillard and Felissa Rose. Who's your favorite? John Carpenter and oh. Matthew Lillard. Yeah. yeah. There you go. That's cool, man. That's so, very cool. So whenever John Carpenter comes again, you want to go see him again? Or no? Yep. Yeah, that's, my, yeah. that's my boy. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, good to see you, Brendan. You too, man. Hey, man. Good, good luck. Have fun with those signatures. Uh, They're cool. Good to see you again, buddy. Have fun. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> like Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Dude, I, I, already had, I already had a satchel for the autographs, and I gave it to my boss, and I'll pick it up at work. Right. Then I got this shit. Well, he's got something that he wanted to show you. What's that? You want to show him something? Oh. Hey, homie. I'm thinking about getting this garbage filled kids. Okay, wait, 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 I got...
our newest one, and Glenda on the other side as well. Okay. These are our newest, um, well, they're our newest dog. I was like, I gotta stop by. I was like, if I, don't, if I leave without coming by, I'm gonna be so sad. I love it. Look at that. You guys having a good con? Yeah, you guys having fun? Yeah, it's so much fun. I Perfect. love creepy con. It's oh, so there you much go. Fun. And you pronounced yeah. it correctly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just creepy. It's like, oh, you gotta say it right. It's yes. In the Inland Empire. I love it. I love how you got the hair up too. Yeah. It's so perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. Stopping up at Nightmare Toys. You don't have the trivia today, but you gave me an awesome dad joke about Titanic. You remember? I, I honestly don't remember. Oh. <laughs> the Sixth Sense and Titanic. What do they have in uh, similarities? What was it again? Oh, the Sixth Sense and Titanic. Yes. What, what do they have in common? You, do you know? I don't. I see dead people. Yes, that was, that was my reaction too. <laughs> so you have a new one. Um. So we moved into a house. And we have to replace all the appliances, so I'm buying my wife a new fridge. Yeah. Can't wait to see her face light up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I just got home, and I'm going to do the whole portion of Creep Icon 2024. Man, that was a lot of fun. I haven't gotten this many signatures in a long time, so this one, this one's pretty special. So, man, I can't wait to show you everything I got. Um... Let's just get right into it, man. I got a, I got a bunch of stuff laid out on the bed, so I can show you there. Um, but I, I wonder if I got anything smaller here. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Let's start with everything on the bed because it's a lot of stuff there, and then uh, we'll go with all the little smaller stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm super excited to show you what I got, and uh, so yeah, let's show you. Come on. <laughs> all right. So first off, right off the bat, gotta thank Christian and Reina for hooking me up with the Halloween forty five. 45 years of terror poster that I didn't get when I was there like a big dummy But for Christmas they're like hey, we got you man. We got you a poster. I'm like what you guys are awesome, man So look at that super stoked to get that man. Thank you guys so much Put that to the side because behind them I'm gonna review My screen poster that you guys know I've been collecting signatures for quite a while now And I've gotten you know a lot of signatures already on here but I needed David Arquette. I needed Dewey. And there he goes. Signing right there on the very top, man. So I'm loving the way this is turning out. Heck yeah. I love it. So sick. Love screen. So got that. Got Dewey there out of the way. And let's see what else I got here. I'll put the 45 back over here. Thank you, Christian Arena, again for that. That is red. So the guys that were here promoting the video game was... Creative director Ronnie Hobbs, who signed right there, and also community developer Matthew Z was there as well. And uh, yeah, they were giving out free posters. Anyone that wanted the game, I mean, wanted the poster, I could like, yeah, gave them out for free and signed them for free. So who doesn't love free posters and free signatures? I know I do. But also, a fun fact Kane Hodder, who played Leatherface, did the body motion for the game. Will be a monster palooza so you know we're gonna add him on this poster as well so he's played jason and now he's also played leatherface so how cool is that so this poster um is going to is i'm gonna give it to my son because he loves the game and he was a uh, leatherface for halloween this past year so 
I think he'll I think he'll appreciate that. So that is for you, buddy. Put that to the side. And a cool surprise, like at the very almost super last minute, but at the Severance booth, uh, they were selling the 30th anniversary 4K of Cemetery Man, aka De La Morte, De La More. And as a fun surprise, Fabiana Formica was there, and she got uh, who played Valentina. Signed my poster right there. We got that quick little interview with her. She was super cool. It was the first time, first horror convention appearance. And she was having a blast taking pictures and meeting the fans. You can tell she got the bug. She wants to come back and do other ones. So hopefully you guys, you know, um, can meet her and get a chance. Because she's a, such a um, she's such a sweetheart. She was amazing. She was having so much fun. And it was awesome to, to meet her and got that poster. Unfortunately, they ran, they sold out of the 4k so i'm gonna definitely pick it up when they do um get some more because i i it, i do aka cemetery man delamore de delamore is such a cool um it's ah dude when i first watched it i'm like this is such a bizarre movie but the effects and uh are so much fun and rupert efforts is pretty cool in it as well so super stoked on that man that was a fun surprise got that there and then man oh man my Texas Chainsaw poster. Texas Chainsaw Massacre poster I've had since I was, oh gosh, a wee lad. I've had this poster forever. You can see the pinholes, the wrinkles. It's been beat up for a while, man, but had to add so many people on there. Daniel Pearl, director of photography, right there. Got Pam, help me, Pam. Pam and Kirk forever. Drew that little heart. Terry McKinn right there. Man, she almost killed my pen right there. <laughs> it was almost gone after that. That's crazy. And then Ed Neal, who played the Hitchhiker, right there. William Bale, who played Kirk. Ed Gwynn, who played the truck driver. Josh Dugan, who played Grandpa. Alan Denninger, who played Jerry. And then we got Ted Nicolau, who did the sound. And Michael McClary, who also was on there as well. Dude, look at that, man. Unfortunately, you know, I'll never be able to get Gunnar Hansen. And Marilyn Burns, because you know we lost them unfortunately. But to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is pretty awesome. And the silver, as I did a poll on on Instagram, you know, to see what would be look better, silver white. And I'm super glad I got that deco silver, man, because that came out. Those all came out super nice. You know, some of them better than others, obviously, because I you know kept trying to prep the pen as much as I could, but. You know, she wanted to draw a heart. She wanted to draw arrows. And I'm like, who am I to say no to Pam? The iconic, iconic uh, Terry McKinnon has her, um, that that shot going up to the house in the red shorts. I mean, come on. Who am I, saying, who am I to say no? She wants to draw all that on there. But look at that. How cool is that? Came out pretty sick. Can't wait to frame this up and put this up, man. Top five horror movie of all time. Takes a chance on Massacre. I mean, come on. This movie is a horror classic. This is up there in the top it has to be in anyone's top five. It's not. I don't know what you guys thinking, man. You guys, this movie's amazing. Toby Hooper, but showed look. I'd love to have met him too, to have him on there. But like I said, we can only get what we can, and you know, I'm gonna cherish it. Like I said, I've had this post forever, so now look at that. Hoo -hoo 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 -hoo. Love it. All right, let me show you what else I got. All right, so let me show you what else we got. So my friend really wanted to meet Matthew Lillard. I was like, here. Take this to get signed for me. You can meet him. I'm like, all right, cool. Give me a solid. My hacker's steel book. I can hear the prodigy already. One love. And he wrote, hack the planet. Yes, I love that he wrote hack the planet. Yes. So thank you. Thank you, Matthew, for that serial killer. If you guys haven't seen hackers, dude, it's totally dated now with the technology, but the fashion, the music, the movie is oh, so rad. I think it's celebrating its 30th anniversary. It's pretty here as well so um yeah dude when i got this steel book i was like oh totally get it and i'm like look at that matthew hack the planet baby so that's right got that um did some two photo ops too real quick i'm gonna show you guys okay i bought some prints did the group photo with the texas chainsaw massacre cast boom look at that sweet with uh savage scott amy and chris and then on the flip side the screen cast jamie kennedy nev David Arquette, Matthew, Skeet, and Lee Waddell is Ghostface. Look at that. How cool is that? So I was stoked on that because I, you know, I had already met him before, but when they added David, I'm like, dude, we got to do it. And we, and you, you know, 
you want to split it four ways with your friends, it comes a little cheaper. So, you gotta love that. So, I had missed Dermot Maroney at Monster Palooza, but since he was gonna be there, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get him there. And Tony Rivalori was gonna be there, and that's his first convention as well. So, I was excited to meet him because I love the movie Dope, and he was in it, and I told him, and he was stoked that I brought that up, and he was happy. But, um, Chris and Amy had gotten this poster for me because, like, my theater, you know, stinks and they didn't, they weren't giving these out. But, so I got Tony Rivaloli to sign right here. See that? So I got Tony to sign right there. Jason. Now I see something red. How cool is that? And then Dermot, I asked him, hey, you like, you like to sign on the knife, right? And he said, yep. Detective Bailey. Who gives a f about the movies? And sign right on the knife. Look at that. So I got two ghost faces on there right there. Want, should I add more? Absolutely. If I can, I'll do it. Look at that. So thank you, Chris and Amy, for hooking me up with that poster. Because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to meet some Scream um, 6 cast members. And uh, I know exactly what I want to get signed. So, boom. How about that? And then... Yeah, no, not done. That's already a lot of signatures right there. Well, we got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, and 16 right here. Because I had to bring, because Stretch was announced, Caroline Williams. And the surprise, Bob Elmore was there, who played uh, Leatherface, was there as well. So I'm like, what? I have, you know, I have the soundtrack from Waxwork, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. So we got Caroline Williams to sign right there. She wrote Stretch. She wrote TCM2. A really cool blue deco that on, the, on that yellow. Man, it pops. I love it. And then Bob Elmore song right there by the chainsaw. TCM2. I remember Bob Elmore played Leatherface for the majority of the movie. And Bill Johnson was the close-ups. The two scenes where he's the close-ups. Bill Johnson. But Bob Elmore. OG Leatherface right there. And Bill Mosley, man. I gotta add, I gotta add him now, too. I gotta give a shout-out to Stretch and our amazing legs in the movie but bill chop top lick my plate your dog dude. gotta add you on there as well now so that'll be complete add that blue maybe i'll get him in white or something right there so that'd be rad but dude that was so cool that they were there bob elmore surprised he was there he said he lived like a couple blocks away so he's like he just rolled over there I'm like that's awesome so i had to get a vinyl I had to get the vinyl soundtrack I had to get one vinyl sign right so i got that now my buddy chris Buddy Christopher at Atomic Art and Music have posted a photo of his booth at a creep icon on his Instagram. And I zoomed in the on the picture and I looked something in the corner. I'm like, I know that face. I know exactly who that is. And that's Brandon Lee as Eric Draven at, from, at, from The Crow. And I'm like, what is that? What does he have? Is it a magazine? What is that? Look at that. You look at the writing you're like, what? What is that? German lobby cards. Are you kidding me? I had never seen that before. I gotta show you these. These prints are amazing. When you show me, ooh, they were pricey, but dude, totally worth it. Cause I've never seen these before ever, and I, I, I had to own them. You know me. Look, I'm even wearing my freaking crow sweater. I'm freaking insane. You guys already know. I know you guys are like what another crow. I know. I know. Wait, yeah, your boy's got problems. Oh, look at these. These are freaking gorgeous. Look at this. This is unbelievable. Photos like that you never see when it's associated with the movie The Crow. So I'm gonna be like a, I'm gonna be like a teacher when they would show you when they would read a book <laughs> and be on the side. But look at that. Eric Draven is a crow, and he says like the the cry. I gotta look. I gotta read that. I gotta. It's probably the crow in, in German. In German. So, but look at that. Started with that. Okay. And then by Ling, it's Micah. Look at that. And. Bone Boy, Michael Massey. Never see those. Never see that. Look at that shot right there, huh? Halloween until mañana. Okay, how about that? I mean, I you I never see the singers from the from the dude. I never see photos like this. This is insane. Look, the group photo. My my life with the Thrill Kill Cult. And that, this, dude, dude, these are amazing. I've never. I'm gonna have to buy these. I'm gonna have to frame my, my whole wall. It's gonna be all these pictures. Okay, this is what really sold me too. Sophia Shyness. Shyness was Shyness. I can't. I don't. I don't I'm not. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. Sophia, but and Rochelle Davis. 
Shelly Webster. We don't. I don't ever get to see anything about Shelly Webster. So I thought that was amazing. And when Eric proposes to her, the rings in the attic. Dude, how cool is that? You never. I never get to see anything with with uh, Sophia and Shelly Webster. That was rad. Huh? Huh? Boy Tintin. as well and he gets resurrected when he comes back these are so cool i'm telling you look at that michael wincott tony todd oh man you know what and monster palooza guess who's gonna be there should i get him should i should i have him sign a lobby card what's funny because i already have that photo back there that's one of my very first signatures i ever got at san diego comic-con like in 2008 or 9 or something way long ago but it's already got them but man on a german lobby card do i get them to sign it oh i just might i don't know i just might look at this one it's by the shelly's uh tombstone dude german lobby cards like again sophia shelly i've never seen these dude i never knew this existed look at how cool is that cool is that man so when i saw that and he had him i had to i had to pick him up i just couldn't believe it german lobby cards of the crow and he's got other stuff too he's like oh you like those I'm, i might have some other things you might be interested in. i'm like oh man it's a good thing it'll be at monster palooza so i can save up because that way I, I can um i can save him money to get it so but man creep icon 2024 was awesome great time always have a Always have a great time hanging out with the whole squad. They were all there on Saturday. Scott had gotten there early. He was on. He was there Friday, but we hung out Saturday and Sunday. Um, ran into uh, Mike, Lauren, Christian, Reina, Chris, Amy, Amber was there, and then I was handing out stickers this year, which was fun. It was so cool. So uh, if you came up to me, if I saw you and I handed you a sticker, I wanted to get a picture with you because I was gonna make a collage at the end. I told you guys. So thank you guys so much for coming out. I also got, thanks to Cameron, I got to sign someone's badge. Two badges, actually, which is crazy that they wanted uh, mine and Scott's <laughs> signature. <laughs> I'm still tripping out about that, man. You guys are amazing. You guys are so much fun. Uh, thank you guys. Show me this, your pen case. You guys, do you guys have a case? You guys have your pens? You guys are prepared? Oh, man. We started a movement, and it's freaking insane. You guys are awesome. Oh, man. But uh, yeah, uh, you know, running to our, our our buddies um in the vendor floor, I really messed up and didn't realize I didn't get the arcade, the um, art site show booth. Um, what else? The uh, Fear Farm, the Haunted Farm was there. They had a cool maze. Um, from what my friends were told me, I don't. <coughs> As you can see, I was super busy getting autographs, so I uh, I didn't get a lot of the footage. I apologize, man. I feel so bad. Um, what else, what else did I miss? I feel like I'm missing something else too. Um, so I try to get some of the vendor floor. Um, a spooky professor had a cool photo op. I was going to do it. I kept walking past it. I was going to do it and I kept, and I, I didn't do it. Again, uh, the photo ops, they take up a bunch, a bunch of time. You get to stand in line and wait. So I'm realizing that I'm like, okay, so my time was limited. So, um, that's why, you know, I didn't get a lot of the footage. So I apologize if you wanted to see that. In my video, I'm so sorry. Um, check out my friends' videos. I'm sure they got a lot of it too. So, um, and if you look up Creep by Econ on YouTube, I'm sure there's other other um, um, YouTube vloggers that probably ca captured a lot of that. So, again, sorry I didn't capture that, but I was too busy getting signatures and having such a great time and writing lobby cards and, and doing interviews. And, and hopefully, you guys enjoy the content that we did get for you guys. So. You know, elephant in the room. There were some hiccups at the convention, obviously, but you know, third year. You know, we live and we learn. You know, I'm trying to keep this video super positive because, you know, you know, everyone makes mistakes. Nobody's perfect. So we'll, we'll learn from the mistakes. They'll learn from the mistakes and, and we'll move forward. So if you get, if you know, you know, but I just want to keep this video super positive because I had a great time. Everyone that, that it was, um, the vendors that were there were having a good time. And, uh, and if, and, you know, and if, you know, you were a misfortunate of what happened, you know, it is what it is, you know, but man, again, Everyone that came up to me and said hello, you know, it's just, it's always fun. And I hope you guys had a good time. You guys were showing me what you guys signed. And uh, and I hope everyone, you know, not everyone was happy, unfortunately. But, you know, um, it is, like I said, 
you know, it's a learning experience and hopefully everything will run smoother going forward from here on out, you know. So um, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. And uh, if you haven't already, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, you know, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel, helps us grow. And uh, we can bring more content like this for you guys. So, um, you know, I'm staring at these lobby cards, man, because I'm so happy with these. Uh, I love it. I'm done, dude. I'm tired. It's like it's like all close to midnight. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but I'm so tired. But I just want to thank you guys so much. Um, Holly, oh, I forgot. Dude, Hollywood George, man. Shout you out too, man. I can't forget you guys. Come on. Um, it was his birthday. Happy birthday, Hollywood George, man. It was awesome seeing you again, buddy. Okay, I'm 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 I'm, I'm rambling now. I gotta end this. All right. So outro. So that's the whole portion. This is the outro. Like, subscribe, comment, notification bell, so you know when I'm drop another video. Um, I think I, I I think I broke this down in two. If I didn't, my bad. But again, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate the support. And as always, you already know, it can't rain all the time.